our study, we fed animal diet containing mushrooms, and then we determined some parameters of the immune functions. And we found basically two things. First one is the activity of a kind of uh, specialized white blood cells have increased activity in the animals fed mushroom. And this type of cells, basically their function is identify and destroy the pathogen infected cells. In this way, they can clear the pathogen from the body. And the other finding is we found a particular molecule, this protein molecule called interferon gamma. So this interferon gamma increased in the immune cells from the animal fed animals. And the specialized immune cells called natural killer cells, and we found there's a positive correlation. So that means if you have increased activity of natural killer cells, we also found increased level of interferon gamma in the animal fed mushroom. So that suggests probably one of the reasons for increased natural killer cell activity is due to the increased interferon gamma production in the animal fed mushroom. We're not very much surprised by this result because for a long time we know mushroom contain very high level of uh, polysaccharide, which is a big sugar molecule or soluble fibers. And these molecules are known to bind to and activate immune cells function. So in this study, we found uh, these molecules may be responsible for the mushroom effect when we fed animals. I noticed uh, several recent studies, including one of our own, that shows mushroom or mushroom extract or purified compound from mushroom in the test tube, at, at least, can enhance the maturation and the function of a special type of immune cells called antigen pre presenting cells. The main function of this type of immune cells is to promote immune function when they expose the pathogen second time. So they keep the memory for this pathogen. So when the pathogen sec come second time, they can mount a more vigorous, more efficient attack to help a body clear these pathogens. This is basically the, the uh, concept of vaccination based on the uh, uh, theory. So uh, potentially, if this works in the in vivo situation, for example, if you give this mushroom or mushroom in, uh, extract to a body to look at whether the body can develop more vigorous immune response after vaccination. So this has a potential uh, clinical application. We still don't know how it works to activate immune function, but so far the evidence suggests it works. Even though you give by oral intake, you can still see the immune system in remote part or you isolate immune cells in other body part, they can show enhanced function. So this enhanced function potentially have an advantage when you expose the pathogen. So these immune cells can fight and destroy the pathogen to help body clear the pathogen recovered from infection. I choose mushroom because the mushroom contains the immune stimulating uh, polysaccharides, the large soluble fibers. And these molecules are known for a long time to stimulate the immune cells function. There's a clear the previous record 
to show this molecule can stimulate immune cell functions. And also, the mushroom is a common food, and we consume the daily basis, and mushroom has very low uh, calories, and has also mushroom contain many other nutrients, including trace, uh, trace elements, vitamins, and uh, including other uh, phenolic compounds. And if we can identify uh, immune benefit for consuming mushroom, that will have uh, tremendous uh, significance in uh, the information base for uh, functional food to improve our uh, general health and increase the resistance to, uh, to reduce the risk for infections.